Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss some strategic submission tips for choosing the best journal of our research. There are some points which we need to consider when we, we are trying to convert our manuscript in publication. That means when we are trying to communicate our manuscript for publication. These points are indexing, theme of the journal, article processing charges, formatting and referencing style. So the first point is indexing. Indexing of a journal refers to the process by which a journal is included in a recognized database or directory that catalogs and provides access to its articles. Some widely mm, known indexings are Scopus, PubMed and ABDC. Scopus is a multidisciplinary database covering various fields of science, technology, medical and social sciences and many more. PubMed primarily focuses on life sciences, health sciences and biomedical sciences. While ABDC indexing refers to the inclusion of the journals in the Australian Business Dean Council General Quality List, the ABDC is an organization representing the interest of Australian business schools. The ABTC General Quality List is a widely recognized resource used to access the quality of academic journals in the field of business management and related areas. In ABDC General Ratings, it varies from A star to C. A star indicates um, the highest quality of the um, journal. A is the high quality. B is the solid general with good standards of publication but not as prestigious as A star or A and C generals are the generals that meet basic quality standards but are considered to be of lower impact. What are the benefits of publishing in index general? The benefits are increased visibility, higher citation rates, enhance academic reputation and access to a wider audience. The second point which we need to consider is the theme of the general. See, we are uh, doing a research in a particular domain. So we have to select the general accordingly. Like the theme of our paper should be matched with the theme of the general. The theme can be accounting, finance, marketing, economics, human resource management, operation management, oncology, health sciences, medical sciences, social sciences, agriculture, food and nutrition or any other field or it can be multidisciplinary as well. Okay, but make sure that whatever you did in your research work is matching to the journal you are targeting for submission. The other most important thing is article processing charges. So broadly it is categorized into two categories open access and standard subscription base. Open access authors have to pay while in standard subscription base readers has to pay. In open, open access assures a wider readership while standard subscription base are available under subscription. Open access gives more chances of getting citation because it is freely available to everyone to read while standard subscription base gives selective availability and it may result in less citations because of selective availability. There are pros and cons of both type of journals in open access. There is a more chance of getting citations so your research profile will improve but um, you have to pay. You, um, But in case of standard subscription base um, you don't have to pay but at the time the availability of the your article will be limited and it might result in less citations. So you have to choose wisely. The next point which we should consider is formatting of manuscript. So many times first time researchers or students ask that ma'am what kind of formatting we should have in our manuscript. So there is no one right answer of this question. It all depends upon the uh, general you are targeting. So before submitting your uh, manuscript to the general, please refer to author guidelines. Author guidelines will tell you about the formatting in detail in terms of text, tables and figures, referencing styles and any other um, part of the manuscript.
so please go through the author's guidelines very carefully it will give you idea complete idea of it and then format your manuscript accordingly and submit if you format your manuscript as per the guidelines there is very less chance of rejection the next thing is referencing style referencing style is also a part of formatting so there are various kinds of uh, referencing styles like mla apa chicago harvard vancouver and many more so you have to uh, just check that that particular general uh, website and uh, you can just uh, see what kind of formatting they want and you can opt uh, you can select that particular style and format your manuscript references in that particular referencing style you can also take help of google scholar for a particular studies uh, suppose you you choose to apa when you was writing but now um, you have to convert it into vancouver so you can simply um, the, put that study on google scholar click on site and it will give you this pop up window and you can select the vancouver style from uh, for that particular study from here itself you can also use reference management softwares reference management softwares uh, make the referencing um, references management task very easy and effective some of the reference management softwares are endnote zotero and mendeley uh, all of them have their own pros and cons so please go through it a bit and select the one which you want uh, which you want to use for your research work and um, the discussion of uh, using these uh, softwares is not the scope of this video if you want me to make video on reference management software please let me know in the comment section thank you for watching